way you can say that every time sickness is there oppression is there enemies rise up armies rise up and you are hearing news they are going to do this you meet them in the dream and you wake up you say greater you see that is in me than he that is in the world miracle is not far away i said miracle is not far away m for tell me m for tell me moses i for tell me isaac r for tell me recognize a for tell me c for who and l for who and e for who now s for tell me that now the shunamite the shunamite the shunamite that's the one that said it is well it is well i'm looking at this direction and i say it is well everywhere i turn i say it is well I look at you there and I say, it is well. And then something coming here, something coming here. A wind is blowing there and stop blowing here. And I say, don't worry about that. Tell me again. It is well. It is well all the days of your life in Jesus' name. Second Kings chapter 4. Second Kings chapter 4. I'm reading here from verse 22. Second Kings chapter 4 verse 22. And she called unto her husband and said, Send me, I pray thee, one of the young men and uh, one of the houses, that I may run to the man of God and come again. And he said, Wherefore will thou go to him today? It is neither new moon nor Sabbath. And she said, and she said, and she said, and you say, what do you say? It shall be well. Any money yet? Don't worry, it shall be well. How do you feel in your body? Don't worry, it shall be well. How about your head? Don't worry, it shall be well. How about your eyesight? Don't worry, it shall be well. How about your hearing? It shall be well. How about that leg? It shall be well. How about that your daughter you told me about? It shall be well. How about your son? It shall be well. Your place of work, I heard they were retrenching people, and now it's the number one, number two is gone, number three is gone, and then they say, the next one, they don't know who it is, but I say, but I say, but I say, it shall be well. It shall be well in our lives in Jesus' name. Verse 24, and then she saddled and asked and said unto her servant, Drive and go forward and slack not thy riding for me, except I bid thee. So she went and came unto the man of God, to the Mount Camel. And it came to pass when the man of God saw her afar off, that he said to Gehazi, his servant, Behold yonder is the Shunammite. Run now, I pray thee, to meet her and say unto her, Is it well with thee? It, is it well with thy husband? Is it well with the child? And she answered, And she answered, And she answered, It is well. I said, It is well. How are you today? I said, how are you today? How is your body? I have a stomach ulcer. I have a cancer. I have a tuberculosis. I have a premature death. I have a poverty. It is well. I said it is well. I said it is well. From the top of your head to the tip of your toe, it is well in Jesus' name. M for Moses, I for Isaac, R for the Rechabites, A for Abraham, and C for Caleb, L for Luke, E for Elisha, e S for the Shunammites, it is well with me. Rise up and declare it, it is well. Rise up and declare it, it is well. Rise up and declare it, it is well. That's the, that's the secret of miracle all the days of your life. All the days of your life, all the days of your life. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord, tell the Lord, and follow. See him who is invisible. See him who is invisible. And then let the prophecy bring a full stop to all the questions, all the inquiry. 
Let the promise of the Lord bring a full stop. Jehovah Jireh, God is going to provide. The Rechabites came to the word of God. Like the Rechabites, and the Lord is saying, no loss in your life. No limitation in your life. No lack in your life. Miracle, miracle everywhere, every time. Miracles. Because you are like that Isaac, like the Rechabites, walking in the steps of the word of God, living by the word of God all the days of your life. Like Abraham, calling those things will be not as though they were. Calling those things will be not as though they were. Declaring the miracle before you see it. Declaring the wonders before you see it. Calling those things will be not as though they were. And be not weak in faith. It was strong. And he knew, fully persuaded that our God is able. Don't worry about the condition of the body. Our God is able. Don't worry about the condition of your wife. Our God is able. With our God, all things are possible. Be fully persuaded in your heart that what he has promised, he is able also to perform. See for Caleb. Be like Caleb. Converse like Caleb. Confess like Caleb. Communicate like Caleb. Let us go up at once because we're well able. I am not a grasshopper. My enemies are not giants. They are bread for us. I am able. I am able. I am able. Let divine ability search up in you. Let it stir you up. You are able. Like Luke, don't allow your sense knowledge your scientific knowledge to overpower, overwhelm, swallow up your scripture knowledge, the knowledge of the Lord, revelation knowledge. Like Elisha, I believe, greater I see that is with me than he that is in the world. That the Shunammite it is well, it is well, it is well. From this day on, believe the Lord. Sign for your miracle. I'm a candidate for miracle every day. A candidate for the supernatural every day. The people that do know their God will be strong and they will do exploits. I know God, I know his power, I know his promises, I know he cannot fail, I know he will not fail, he will, he will do what he has said. Like Moses, like Isaac, like the Rechabites, like Abraham, like Caleb, like Luke, like Elisha, like the Shunammite, I know it is well. In Jesus' name we pray. And the miracle people of God said. Already you have the miracle. Everything you desire is yours already in Jesus' name. Your spiritual life is better today. Your professional life is higher today. Your family life is brighter today. And your future from now on will go from good to better to best in Jesus' name. The anointing of the Lord will never stop in your life. The miracle power of God will never stop in your mouth. It will continue permanent perpetual in your life all the days of your life in Jesus' name. I rejoice with you because I know you are blessed. And you'll keep on blessing you for the rest of your life in Jesus' name. Raise up your hand, raise up your hand. This just will seal it up and confirm the miracle power of God in your Father, in the name of Jesus.
we bless your name for your goodness. We thank you because you have thought about good things concerning every brother and every sister, every child, every youth, every student here. Oh Lord, I pray all these good thoughts you have concerning everyone will be fulfilled in Jesus' name. Lord, the past is gone. The past is buried. The past is forgotten. I pray, Lord, those who have never enjoyed any miracle, I pray this very moment, I send a miracle into your life. In Jesus' name, the peace of God in your soul, the purity of the Lord in your heart, and the power of the Lord upon your spirit. In Jesus' name, your Lord will not be the Lord of the people of the world. All the diseases of Egypt will never come upon you again. Madness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. And all those harassments of them, oppression, affliction, pressing in the bed, and something walking about in the body, there's no room for that anymore now. That is the temple of the Almighty God. And I command all those evil powers and evil operators, pack all your load and go in Jesus' name. Clear eyesight for everyone. Clear insight for everyone and clear revelation for everyone and clear dominion for everyone. Oh Lord, I pray total healing, wholeness, with holiness and with purity. Give unto everyone in Jesus' name. Victory upon victory, dominion upon dominion, joy everlasting in your life. And Lord, I pray all the weakness is totally taken away. And the people of God, as they march out now going back home, I sprinkle the blood of Jesus upon them. And Lord, I pray no evil shall come upon anyone in Jesus' name. Every brother, testimony in your mouth. Every sister, testimony in your mouth. Every boy, every girl, testimony in your mouth. In Jesus' name. God will bless the work of your hand. If you have been sorrowful, you pass wipe all your tears away. A time of joy, an era of joy, a period of joy has come for everyone in Jesus' name. Miracle upon you. Miracle upon you. Miracle upon you. As Moses appeared before Pharaoh, miracle upon you in Jesus' name. As Isaac was prospered in Gera, miracles of prosperity upon you in Jesus' name. And the favor of the Lord continue with the Rechabites, miracle of the Lord, and the favor of the Lord upon your life, all the days of your life, in the day, in the night, in the village, in the city, anywhere you find yourself, favor of the Lord upon your life, in Jesus' name. As God multiplied Abraham, as God prospered Abraham, and God told him his children will be like the, uh, like the sand and the seashore and the sand and the stars of heaven, multiplication for you multiplication for you multiplication for you in jesus name oh lord caleb said 40 and five years ago moses said this and today i am still as strong as i was 45 years ago i pray the strength of the lord the might of the lord and the power of the lord the vitality the wholeness coming from heaven like upon caleb will come upon you in jesus name and as Luke testified and said that God with God, all things are possible. I pray that that testimony of Luke will be upon your life. All things in your life. All things in your family. All things in your place of work. All things everywhere you go will be made possible in Jesus' name. No mountain will stop you. No river will stop you. No enemy will stop you. And no circumstance in this life will stop your progress in Jesus' name. I pray the host of the Lord around Elisha will be around you. And you'll find greater is he around you, greater is he within you, and greater is the power of heaven protecting you all the days of your life in Jesus' name. Even after Elisha finished his earthly ministry and they buried him. And then somebody else died. And when he turned the bone, he touched the bones of Elisha, he got up. I pray everyone that touches you will get miracle. Your wife that touches you will get miracle. Your husband that touches you will get miracle. And your children that embrace you, miracles will flow from your body unto them in Jesus' name. 
as the Shunammite confessed, I pray, O oh Lord, this will be the confession of everyone. While you are here on the grounds, it is well with you. As you are going in the bus, it is well with you. As you are going on the road, it is well with you. When you get your place of work, it is well with you. Every good thing they are deciding in the place of work will be yours in Jesus' name. And your testimony every time will be, it is well. Your testimony every time will be, it is well. Tell me, tell me, tell me out loud, it is well. Tell me out loud, it is well. Let the heavens hear, it is well. Let Satan hear, it is well. Let your family hear, it is well. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Forward ever, backward never. Up ever, downward never. And the Lord will bring you to that territory of miracle every day of your life in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, because we know you have done it. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, and everybody said, tell somebody there it is well. No matter where you are, it's time to go up higher. And everyone actually needs a superhero, but you deserve the best. It's my privilege, it's my calling, it's my joy to take you from where you are to tell you, come up, come up higher. You were not born to be the list. You have something big inside your chest. So, you need to stand Stand tall as rising stars. And now, something bigger than Jackma is on ground. As an international evangelist and ardent lover of children and youths, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumuyi lands in Abuja this May 2023 for the Global Youth and Children Convocation, STARS 2023. It's your single opportunity to stand tall as rising stars. Come, meet Christ, a superhero. Thursday, May 11 to Sunday, May 14, 2023, all live at the prestigious Moshuda Biola National Stadium, FCT Abuja. Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumui will be revealing tested and proven secrets to set you on a star ride. Time of solution has now come. Amen. It's your moment. It's your time. You must shine to be a star.
matter where you are, it's time to go up higher. And everyone actually needs a superhero. But you deserve the best. It's my privilege, it's my calling, it's my joy to take you from where you are to tell you, come up, come up higher. You were not born to be the list. You have something big inside your chest. So, you need to stand. Stand tall as rising stars. And now, something bigger than Jackma is on ground. As an international evangelist and ardent lover of children and youths, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumuyi lands in Abuja this May 2023 for the Global Youth and Children Convocation, STARS 2023. It's your single opportunity to stand tall as rising stars. Come, meet Christ, a superhero. Thursday, May 11 to Sunday, May 14, 2023, all live at the prestigious Moshuda Biola National Stadium, FCT Abuja. Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumui will be revealing tested and proven secrets to set you on a star ride. Of solution has now come. Amen. It's your moment. It's your time. You must shine to be a star. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for gathering us in your presence this evening. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your strength. Lord, be glorified in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that as we sing unto you now, we pray that you accept our praises in Jesus' name. And I pray at the end of the day, Father, our souls will be revived in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we've prayed. Amen. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are here to worship God. Hallelujah. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are here to worship God. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are here to worship God. Hallelujah. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are here to worship God. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are here to worship God. Hallelujah. We are on the mountain Zion. We are on the mountain Zion. We are here to worship God. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. He liveth forevermore. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Jesus liveth. He liveth forevermore. I know my Redeemer liveth, I know my Redeemer liveth, I know my Redeemer liveth, He liveth forevermore, hallelujah, He liveth, He liveth, He liveth forevermore, I know my Savior liveth, I know my Redeemer liveth, I know my Jesus liveth, He liveth forevermore, I know my Redeemer liveth, I know my Redeemer liveth, I know my Redeemer liveth, He liveth forevermore, hallelujah. I know my Redeemer liveth, I know my Jesus liveth, He liveth forevermore. You are the Lord that changeth not, 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 you are the Lord that changeth not. Oh, you are the Lord that changeth not. 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 You are the Lord that. Oh, you are the Lord that changeth not. 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 You are the Lord that 
changes not. You are the Lord that changes not. Oh, Father, you are the Lord that changes not. Pass me not, O oh, gentle Savior. Yeah, my humble cry. While on others thou art calling. Do not pass me by. Do not pass me by. Savior, Savior. Hear my humble cry. Hear my humble cry. Do not pass me by, blessed Savior. Savior, Savior, Savior. Hear my humble cry while on others thou art calling. Do not pass me by, blessed Savior. Savior, 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 hear my humble, hear my humble cry. He is able, abundantly able to deliver. And to save, our God is able, abundantly able, to deliver those who trust in him, who trust in him. Able, able, abundantly able to deliver, to deliver, and to save. Able, able. To deliver those who trust in him, who trust in him. Able, able, abundantly able to deliver and to save. Abundantly able to deliver those who trust in him. Is able. Abundantly able to deliver, to deliver, and to save. Oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. Blessed Jesus, come down, come and manifest your power in our lives, in our midst. Come and manifest your power. Oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. Oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. Oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. You make impossibility possible. You make impossibility possible. You make the impossibility possible. You make impossibility. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In making possibility possible, in making possibility, Jesus. He make the impossibility possible, he make impossibility possible, he make impossibility possible, he make impossibility, hallelujah. God cannot lie. He is not a liar. Oh, yes, God cannot lie. He is not a liar. 
cannot lie. He is not a liar. Our God cannot lie. He is not a liar. Our God cannot lie. He is not a liar. Our God cannot lie. He is not a liar. There is power, power, wonder working far in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power. Wonder working far in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, power in the blood of the Lamb. Power, power, wonder working far in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, power in the blood of the Lamb. Power, power. There is power, power, power in the blood of the Lamb. Power, power, wonder working far in the precious blood of the Lamb. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can save, only you can heal, only you can save, only you can heal, Jehovah. What no man can do, Jehovah, only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. The yoke. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke, anointing breaks. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke, anointing breaks the yoke, anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. 
I believe, yes, Lord, I believe, yes, Lord, I believe, it is well with me, it is well with me. I believe, it is well with me, is it well with you? Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. It is well with me. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. It is well with me. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. It is well with you. I believe, yes, Lord, I believe it is well with me. Expect a miracle when you pray. Expect a miracle when you pray. Expect a miracle when you pray. For the Lord is seated on the throne. Expect a miracle. When you pray, oh yes, expect a miracle. When you pray, expect a miracle. When you pray, for the Lord is seated on the throne. Expect a miracle when you pray. Expect a healing when you pray. Expect deliverance when you pray, for the Lord is seated on the throne. Hallelujah. When you pray, expect a miracle. When you pray, expect a miracle. When you pray, for the Lord is seated on the throne. Oh, yes, expect, expect a miracle when you pray. Expect a miracle when you pray. Expect a miracle when you pray. For the Lord is seated on the throne. Nothing prayer cannot do. Jesus answered prayer, nothing prayer cannot do. Nothing prayer cannot do. Nothing prayer cannot do. Nothing prayer cannot do. Nothing prayers cannot do. Nothing prayer 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 cannot do. Touch me one more time, O oh Lord. Touch me one more time, O oh Lord. I need a touch of the master. I need a touch of the Lord. Touch me one more time, O oh Lord. Touch me one more time. Jesus, touch me, touch me. I need a touch of the master. I need a touch of the Lord. Touch me one more time. Oh, Lord, touch me one more time. Touch me one more time. Oh, Lord. 
I need a touch of the master. I need a touch of the Lord. Touch me one more time. Oh, Lord, Jesus, touch me. Jesus, touch me, touch me. Oh, Lord, I need a touch of the master. I need a touch of the Lord. Touch me one more time. Oh, Lord, Jesus, touch me. Oh, Lord, touch me, touch me, Jesus. Oh, Lord, I need a touch of the master. I need a touch of the Lord. Touch me one more time. Oh, Lord, unchangeable God, 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 reliable God. Reliable God, unlimited God, unlimited God, unlimited God, unlimited God, unlimited God, unlimited God, unchangeable God.
Today we pray. Heavenly Father, we bless you for your children. Thank you for your people. Thank you for this church. Thank you for our faith in the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for how you are leading us on and moving us on. Oh, Lord, I pray every member of this church, from the children to the youth to the students to the adults, the daddies and the mommies, oh, Lord, I pray your blessing will never stop in every life. From strength to strength, from power to power, from healing to health, and from poverty to prosperity in Jesus' name. Bless your people even now. Let this miracle continue in every life. Sustain the miracle power. Maintain the miracle power. And I pray, Lord, all the needs of your people will be supplied in Jesus' name. Confirm your blessing upon every life, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you very much. Daniel chapter 11 verse 32. Daniel 11 verse 32. The second part, but the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. The people that do know their God will be strong and they will do exploits. What we need is knowledge, the knowledge of who God is, the knowledge of his power, the knowledge of his promises, the knowledge of his goodness. The people that do know their God will be strong and they will do exploits. Mark chapter 16, verse 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Thank God the believers are here. In my name, they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take off serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay their hands on the sick. What will happen? And they shall recover. Romans chapter 16, verse 20. Romans 16, verse 20. Here we find what the Lord is telling us about this new army. And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. Give me a good amen. amen. Satan will be under your feet. Amen. Evil spirits will be under your feet. All the powers of darkness from now on will be under your feet in Jesus' name. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. First John, first John, chapter 5, verse 18. We know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not, but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one Toucheth him not. He will not touch you again. I said he will not touch you again. The Lord has given us the secret. We've had all those testimonies. And all those testimonies that you have heard. What has happened to other people will be repeated in your life in Jesus' name. I want to speak to you this time. The secret of experiencing miracles daily. The secret of experiencing miracles daily. How do people maintain the miracle life? The miracle portion. Miracle experience. That every day, not only when you are here, you, you are here, you, you are strengthened. You are here, you are energized. You are here, you are empowered. You are here, the anointing comes upon your life. And miracles begin in your life. And then it goes on and on and on every day. What is the secret? Please write the word miracle. M I R A C L E S. M your mouth. You keep and control your mouth. Because either miracle or misery is in your mouth. If you speak the word of God, 
make the spoken word be co to comply with the written word and always say the word this is what God says I am this is what I will be the power of miracle will be in your mouth in Jesus name I instruction he gives you instruction and as you keep that instruction and make it your companion like your brother like your sister make that instruction your companion what it says unto you you carry out every time miracles will continue R is for righteousness because the Bible says the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much how do you keep the miracle power by keeping your mouth your conversation your tongue the words of your mouth to be in agreement every time with the word of the living God and then the instruction instruction in righteousness that will make you powerful make you purposeful make you profitable the word of God the instruction in the word this word shall never depart out of your mouth you'll observe to do everything that is written there for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and you make your way successful righteousness effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availing much a for authority you come under the authority of the lord jesus christ like the centurion said i am a man under authority and i say unto this man go and he goeth and unto this man come and he cometh when you abide under the authority of the name of jesus the authority of the lordship of jesus the authority of the control of jesus that's what makes the miracle power to be keep on flowing in your life see is the commandment of the lord you keep that commandment you observe that commandment you do that commandment that's why he tells us in exodus chapter 15 verse 26 exodus chapter 15 verse 26 and said a hey, thou will diligently hearken to the voice of the lord thy god i will do that which is right in his sight i will give ear to his commandments give your ear your attention your focus to the word of god to the commandment of the lord then it says i will put none of these diseases which are put upon the egyptians upon you for i am the lord that he lets thee and then l is the landmarks the landmarks of the word of god the pillars of the word of god the doctrines that mark the territory of the word of god you keep to those landmarks in proverbs chapter 22 verse 28 proverbs 22 verse 28 remove not the ancient landmark which thy fathers have said the landmarks of the word of god you will not deny them you will not destroy them you will not displace them you keep to them all the talking of the teaching that the lord has given us look at proverbs 23 verse 10 proverbs 23 reading from verse 10 remove not the old landmark enter not into the field of the fatherless keep those landmarks keep those landmarks they make the miracle power to continue in our lives in proverbs chapter 24 verse 21 my son fear thou the lord and the king and meddle not with them that are given to change meddle not with them that are given to change m for your mouth i for his instruction r for righteousness a for authority c for commandments l for the landmass e for his example conform your life unto his example if you want to do the same thing jesus did talk like he talked live like he lived behave like he behaved conduct your life like he conducted his life 
in first Peter chapter 2, reading from verse 21. First Peter chapter 2, verse 21. For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example. Leaving us an example. Leaving us an example that we, that ye shall follow his steps. Follow his example, his steps. S is for the scripture. S is for the scripture. That's how to experience. That's how to preserve. That's how to maintain. That's how to have the miracle power, unction, anointing continue in your life. That you live everything in conformity to the scriptures. Because he tells us in John chapter 10. John chapter 10, verse 35. If he called them gods unto whom the word of God came. And the scripture cannot be broken. And the scripture cannot be broken. And the scripture cannot be broken. That's a secret. You keep your mouth. Keep your miracle. Keep his instruction. Keep your miracle. Keep his righteousness. And extend your miracle. Remain under his authority. And keep your miracle. And then keep the commandments of the Lord. Observe the commandments of the Lord. And uphold the landmarks. And then follow his example. And keep to the scriptures. The secret of experiencing miracles every day. Three points we're going to consider. Number one, connect and confide in the Lord's might. Connect. Connect and confide in the Lord's might. Number two, cleave to and continue in the Lord's message. You cleave to the Lord. You stay with the Lord. You abide in the Lord. Cleave to and continue in the Lord's message. Number three, consecrate and conserve the Lord's miracles. Consecrate. Commit yourself to the Lord. And then you'll be able to conserve the Lord's miracles. Number one. What's number one? I said was number one. Connect and confide in the Lord's might. How do we connect with the Lord? Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Connect with the Lord. If you don't connect yourself with power, how will power come into your life? If you don't connect yourself with the supernatural, how will this supernatural take place? You'll have connection. Connection. Divine connection. That's a secret. How to experience a miracle? How to extend the miracle, how to conserve the miracle, how to preserve the miracle, how to enlarge the miracle. You connect with the Lord. Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. Wherefore come out from among them, and be ye separate, says the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, for the Lord to receive you. To connect with the Lord, you come out of the company assembly of evil doers you come out of darkness you come out of evil it says wherefore come out from among them and be separate says the lord and touch not the unclean thing and i will receive you and i will be a father unto you and you shall be my sons and my daughters says the lord almighty that is the connection you will connect I said you will connect in Job chapter 22. Connection. Connection. Job chapter 22. Reading there from verse 23. If thou return to the Almighty. Connection now. Thou shalt be built up. And thou shalt put away iniquity far from thy tabernacles. That's how to connect to the Lord. Seeing out the Savior in. Darkness out, light in. Evil out, goodness in. Hell out, heaven in. It says you connect by putting iniquity, transgression, sin, 
evil doing, misbehavior out of your life, far away. Then in verse 24, it says then, thou shalt lay up gold as dust. This is the year of your prosperity. And the gold of upper as the stones of the brooks. Yea, the Almighty shall be thy defense. And thou shalt have, and thou shalt have, I said thou shalt have plenty of silver, and then shalt thou have thy delight in the Almighty, and shalt lift up thy face unto God, and thou shalt make thy prayers unto him, and he shall hear thee, and thou shalt pay thy vows. Verse 28, verse 28, and thou shalt also decree a sin. Say how to have miracle, how to have your decree established and fulfilled, how to have all the promises of God, yes, and amen in your life, thou shalt also decree a thing, and shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. It will happen in Jesus' name. Connection, connection, connection. You connect with the might of the Lord. You connect with the power of the Lord. You connect with the miracle walking authority of the Lord. In Psalm 91, Connection, Psalm 91, reading from verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge. That's a personal identification with the Lord here. He is my refuge. He is my fortress. He is my God, and in him will I trust. Because of that connection, surely... It shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. It shall cover thee with his feathers. Under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. After that connection, every form of fear will vanish out of your life in Jesus' name. And then for the terror, for the arrow that flies by day, for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness, and for the destruction which wasteth at noonday, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near thee. I shall not come near thee. I'm going to personalize that now, verse 7. A thousand shall fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand. It shall not come near me. Amen. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee. Are you there? There shall no evil befall thee. In the day and in the night, there shall no evil befall thee. In the village and in the city, there shall no evil befall thee. In the plain or in the bus or on the train, there shall no evil befall thee. With friends or foes or enemies, there shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any play come near thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee. To keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands. Lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The lion and the dragon shall thou trample under thy feet. Because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high. Because he has known my name. He shall call upon me. And what will happen? And I will answer. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Huh. Look at this one. Verse 16. Read it for yourself. Won't you go with long life? Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? It will happen in Jesus' name. That's a connection. That's a connection. And because of that connection, miracles will follow you all the days of your life in Jesus' name. 
Look at Isaiah chapter 33. Isaiah chapter 33. And I'm looking at verse 24. Isaiah chapter 33. And we're reading from verse 24. Here it says, And the inhabitants shall not say, I am sick. For the people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. When you connect with the Lord and you live in the land of signs and wonders, all sicknesses, they are things of the past in Jesus' name. They will not follow you home. They will not be in your life, in your body anymore in Jesus' name. Isaiah 65, Isaiah 65, I'm reading from verse 24. 65, 24, and it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. Before they call, I will answer. As I'm going back home, every prayer you pray at home, God will answer. Every prayer you pray on the way, God will answer. Anywhere you go, when you open your mouth and you pray unto the God of heaven, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has become your Father also, the Lord will answer in Jesus' name. And shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, while they are yet speaking, while they are yet speaking, I will hear a new day has come in your life. In Jeremiah chapter 33, Jeremiah chapter 33, I'm reading from verse 3, Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 3, call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Great and mighty things which thou knowest not, every new day will bring a new miracle in your life in Jesus' name. Point number two now, clip to and continue in the Lord's message. Clip to it, clip to it, clip to it, and continue in the Lord's message. You see the secret of the people experiencing continual miracle, continuous miracle, everyday miracle, permanent miracle, perpetual miracle, is that you cleave to the Lord. You cleave to the Lord. You remain, you abide with the Lord. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 4. Deuteronomy chapter 4, you'll see the advantage, you'll see the profit, and you'll see how it is profitable to cleave unto the Lord. Like a wife cleaves to the husband, husband cleaves to the wife, and they remain together, no separation, no divorce. The same way you cleave unto the Lord, you will not separate from the Lord in Jesus' name. You will not divorce the Lord, and the Lord will not divorce you in Jesus' name. If you will not divorce the Lord, I thought you'll say a good amen. amen. Cleave to the Lord, cleave to the Lord, cleave to the Lord. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 4. You cannot forget this. Chapter 4, verse 4. But she that cleave unto the Lord your God are alive, every one of you this day. You are alive. He maintains you by miracle power. Cleaving to the Lord. Ye that cleave to the Lord, you are alive until this day. Chapter 10 of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 10. Cleaving to the Lord. Cleaving to the Lord. Cleaving to the Lord. It says in verse 20 chapter 10. Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God. Him shall thou serve. And to him shalt thou cleave. To him shalt thou cleave. You cleave unto him. He is thy praise in verse 21. He is thy God in verse 21. That has done for thee these great and terrible things which thine eyes have seen. Then in verse 22, thy fathers went down into Egypt with three score and ten persons. And now... The Lord thy God has made thee as the stars of heaven for multitude. You'll become a multitude in Jesus' name. Chapter 11 of Deuteronomy, cleave to the Lord. It's a secret of maintaining that miracle, of keeping that miracle, of, 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 of uh, preserving that miracle. Chapter 11, verse 22. For if ye shall diligently keep all these commandments, which I command thee to do them. 